Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2, and we are here in the Checkpoint Rest Town, where we are investigating a number of things, but primarily we're trying to find out more information about Elena, the abbess from the Gracious Hands back in the capital city of Vernworth, and we've been led here in order to find out a little bit more about what she may be doing with that individual she's meeting in the back alleys who works for uh, Lord Phasus. But we might have to dress up all fancy like yet again because this gentleman, Myrmidon, is all about decorum. We also placed our very first port crystal, which is exciting. We still have one more in our inventory. Doesn't look like there's actually a permanent port crystal here, which is kind of surprising because there's one in Harv Village, which we'll be going to possibly today. Uh, kind of a spoiler alert, if not in the very, very near future. Uh, but there's one there, and there's one in Vernworth. And those are the only two that I have found so far. All right, so the quest that we're working on is Saint of the Slums. Now, I don't know why that that had a little mark next to it. Maybe it's just my newest one. But we are going to be, let's go ahead and down here. So gather evidence and apprehend the abbess, okay? And we were actually sent here in order to get some more information on it. If you take a look at the map, we have this little mark up here, which I, I said Myrmidon, Myrden, but it doesn't look like it's actually Myrden. There's this house right here that we need to investigate. So let's head up behind the apothecary, see if we can do some investigating. So I mentioned Harv Village and that we're going to be going there rather soon. And the reason is, as I've stated multiple times, Thief was not going to be my primary vocation. In fact, I didn't think I'd stick with it as long as I have. But the one that I wanted to go after apparently had an event that I missed. There was an event that I should have encountered at some point when I took the ox cart, I believe, to Melv. And I did take the ox cart from Vernworth to Melv, but I didn't get the trigger. So I did ask in Discord without giving me any distinct spoilers. I was told you may have missed the event. However, go and investigate Harv Village, where you have rescued the town people from Saurians a couple times, and start talking to the folks there. So that's going to be on our agenda. Aye. In need of a doctor, are you? It's Radcliffe. Now, Radcliffe was the doctor before Elena. So that's why we're here to talk to him. And we have the unlabeled medicine. What's this you giving me? Oh, I see. You want me to run some sort of test on this? Determine what manner of substance it is? Interesting. Well, you certainly piqued my curiosity. But are your reasons, I'll take a look. Naturally, I'll need a bit of time with it. Come back again in, oh, I don't know, later. Oh, <laughs> didn't think that that was just going to be the end all be all just to uh, send us away. But that makes sense. Uh, does he have like a chemistry lab up here? You have a lot of bread. Is that how is that the test? Is it a bread test? It's probably a bread test. This looks as if it would fetch a hefty sum. Uh, you would think so. They're not typically worth that much. These uh, precious gems. But enough, I do suppose. Oh, look at that. We can go right on the rampart here. All right, so we need to come back in some time, at least a day. So maybe now's the best time for us to go check out Har Village. Which I could use a fairy stone. Because otherwise, just to give you an idea of the scope, we're in the checkpoint rest town. Har Village is right there. It's not. It's actually not as far. It's kind of halfway between here and Vernworth. But it seems silly not to just use a fairy stone, right? Right? Okay, let's do it. Yep, I don't want to make that run. We've done enough exploring recently. I still have seven of these in storage. So let's go to the Port Crystal in Harv Village. Now, all I was told was start talking to people. So that's what we're going to do. First our first order of business is just to talk to folks. And I know we've talked to this crazy person before, but why not talk to him again? 
That old man by the shore. Sometimes oh wait, Dan was just about to say something. Dan, talk again. What were you gonna say? That old man by the shore. You can count on me to fly to your aid in your hour of need, Master. To get to the bottom of what is happening at the Gracious Hand, we shall have to acquire evidence of any misdeeds. Right, I know. But you were, you were about to talk. What about small talk? How might we enter the basement sick room? We've we've already entered the basement sick room. Okay. Well, he mentioned the old man by the shore, which is probably that old hermit. But was there any other building by the actual coast? Any buildings that are you know still standing? Well, let's go in. Let's just start going house to house. Try to be somewhat systematic. Find root, uh, fruit robrin times three. Nothing. Welcome, sir. Oh, it's Eins again. Eins, you just sell the best cloaks, don't you? I wish any of them were better. Gauntled Petticoat. I only have 3,800. Stop looking. Bye. Uh, what does an Onyx sell for, by the way? Whoa, wait a minute. I have six of these in storage. They're worth 2,400? Selling that. Hope to see you again. That's exciting that I have all those precious gems. Never mind. That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough. Eight scrag. Love it. Love cooking that up. And that just go Oh, there's a house up here. Okay. Never mind. In fact, this one's marked. What is this one? This one is Coastal Hut. Okay. Nice bench to wait outside. Coastal hut. All right. Who do we have here? There was a time I myself Sigurd. What title? Oh, you got some books here. Wait, what? <laughs> All I did was talk to Sigurd and he said, once I got that title. You, you are arisen. Are you not? Hold on. Were you an arisen? Is that what you meant? Irrelevant. Well, that doesn't make sense. You just, you just asked me. We just unlocked Mystic Spear Hand, and we got uh, Haimel Euphony times two, Threshing Blazes times three, Fulgur's Lord times three. Well, I'm, I'm disappointed that I missed out on, on the quest, but I'm not so disappointed that we actually just got the Mystic Spear Hand. I have been wanting this. Since we started playing, since before I started playing, because I was looking at very few gameplay trailers, and I knew, I knew that I wanted to test this out. This one and the Trickster. The Trickster is going to be the next one, but seeing as we've almost maxed out Thief, how close are we, by the way? Our vocation, so we are, oh no, we are maxed out, never mind, we are actually maxed out as Thief. Oh, then I think it's time. What do we have? So weapon skills, Dragoon's Stab. Kicks off a magical platform to gain momentum before delivering a forceful jab. Also employable against flying. Oh. Twain Cut. Flurry of Swift Slashes with the Duo Spear. Magic Cut or Magic Cut. Fires a magical burst simultaneously with the Slash. Oh. Redoubted Bolt and Four Baiting Bolt. Oh my word. Now the problem is we're going to be starting from scratch. But who cares? This is exciting. Now, what's not so exciting is the fact that we don't have a vocation guild here. Meaning, I either need to use another fairy stone. Or, I need to run. Let's just run. I don't want to waste another fairy. It's not a waste, I'm aware. But, uh, let's see how quickly we can make it. It's not terribly far. Especially if we just hug the coast here. We'll hug the coast until we get to this uncrossable section and then just go north. Am I the first to notice we've all got different vocations? No, you're you're not. Um, you know what I've been meaning to check though is waterfalls. Is there ever anything hiding? 
Behind them. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. The Brian got me! Let me out! Help me! Help me! Oh. The Brian doesn't do damage? Huh. Interesting. Alright. That slime just completely, uh... Slew, uh, slew. I was gonna say slew me down. Slowed me down. Get some green slime. Why not? Be skin. Beautiful. Yeah, let's just make our way. In traversing other worlds, I came to know of a treasure chest in this area. The chance you'd like to see it? Yes, Dan. Yes, I would. Lead the way, if you would be so kind as to follow me. Well, if you insist. Really, just a huge fan. Oh, there it is. Nice spot there, Dan. Oh, come on now. There we go. Beautiful. Do I still have Implicate? No. Oh, the Saurians are coming. Ready? Come on. Go to hit me. Someone try to hit me. You try to hit me. No, 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 no. How do you make Master Kill work with a party? It just, it doesn't seem very feasible. Hmm. Anyway. Thank you, Dan. Oh, well spotted. Are you, gonna, are you gonna go tell your master about that? Such a thing escaped my master's notice ah. entirely. Void. I can't believe your master missed that. Only completely observant individuals miss that chest. Thank you, Dan. How might we enter the basement city? Ooh. No, not asps. I was hoping for asps. Look at me just dancing around completely missing. Oh, there we go. Explosive barrel. Where? Did we just get the rock one? Oh, nope. Come on. Face me. Face me. Never mind. Drawn quarter. Rattler rock scale. Yeah, the Rattler... So, if you haven't noticed... When we talk about experience versus discipline point... Oh, here we go. Here we go. You're going to attack me? Seriously, why... Why do you... I must admit that it feels wonderful to strike through. Would you just... Try to hit me? Wow. Interesting just how tough this thing is. But anyway... Discipline point versus experience. Typically, the more powerful of a foe you kill, the more experience you get, yes. However, the fewer discipline points from a ratio perspective you get. Now, it doesn't seem like that matters nearly as much in Dragon's Dogma 2 because of the way that the stats are allocated. It's very, very different. Oh. No. Let him attack. Let him attack. Let him attack. He's not going to attack. So apparently, the big one of the big differences in the stats is that... I'm going to just take a look here because there's actually a marking up here. I don't know what this is. I'm going to get to my point. Um, the way that the stats are allocated. Right, right, right. So as you level up different vocations, and this is in Dragon's Dogma 1. You the stats would increase depending on the actual vocation. So if you were a fighter or warrior, your strength would go up. If you were a major sorcerer, your magic would go up more. And then when you made the switch later on, it would still oh, there's a secret token in there. Oh, which I can just open the door. Uh you would just kidding, it's a fairy stone. You would keep those stats exactly as is. They were static. Oh, got a neck wrap out of that. And so if you wanted to be as proficient as you could, if you wanted to actually min-max, then you would level up as particular vocations 
and then change them at precisely the right time and level up as a new vocation in order to get the absolute most out of you or your current class. The problem with that is it wasn't necessarily very fun because sometimes, for example, Magic Archer, you wouldn't even be able to play your hybridized location for some time if you want it to be ideal. What's okay? In Dragon's Dogma 2, here, but... your stats actually do change. They're no longer static. So as you go from one vocation to another, even though your strength might be a certain number and your magic might be another, when you switch to a vocation that relies more heavily on the strength or the magic stat, it would actually change as if you've been that vocation all along, meaning you can change more freely without needing to worry about your stats, which I just think is great. It allows for more flexibility. It allows for more experimentation. Uh, so kudos on the team for making that change. And I know that some people wish it went back to the old ways. I I definitely do not wish for that. I would have preferred not to have to fight so soon, but at least I know I am up to the challenge. Okay, thank you for the fire, but we are... Yeah, we're going to be heading up now. We're going to be heading north, level 29. Wow, 29 already. At 30, I am certainly going to be looking for some new pawns. So I think my current pawns are 23. You're soaked. Do try not to catch cold. Okay, let's not fall down. Wait, wait, wait. Why are you attacking the mate? Wow. Wait, attacking the archer? That's even worse. Uh, by the way, I didn't know that about Dragon's Dogma 2. I haven't done enough testing, but I did not know that the stats would actually change based on your vocation. And I learned that from some wonderful folks. We're not resting, we're running at full speed. Uh, the fine folks in our Discord. So in case you're looking for a fun place to hang out and talk to us in between videos, definitely consider joining the Discord. Link is in the description. Yeah, you guys go ahead and take care of that light work. We're on a mission. Oh, I am just so excited right now. And actually, you know, we can test this. We can test this right now to see if my base stats change. So what I'm going to do is when I get to the vocation guild, I'm going to take a picture. And I'm actually going to take a picture of my stats with my phone. And then we'll switch and I'll compare the two to tell you how it's changed and what's changed. All right, get ready. Here it is. Now we're gonna be looking at the base stats, okay? And we're not gonna be looking at the stats overall because gear will influence that. But if I go to my status, so there's my stats. So my base strength is 168. My base defense is 142. Uh, let's get that, there we go. Uh, magic 110, magic defense 131, okay? And now, Have you come to be it is admirable. oh boy, I hope it's not too expensive. For a First off, let's just give some Seekers tokens. Go. Just have the one, oh, four more. Hey, we're not even going to be using daggers anymore anyway. It's only 200. It's only 200. What are the augments, by the way? Conveyance hastens movement speed while carrying or lifting. Opulence increases gold obtained when acquiring gold pouches. That's pretty cool. Polarity. Augment your strength during the day and your magic at night. Kind of cool. Refulgence. Increase the amount of rift crystals obtained when acquiring rift fragments and the like. Not super important. And athleticism. Reduces stamina consumed while dashing. Okay, that's pretty cool. But, Mystic Spear Hand. Let's change. Let's read about the Mystic Spear Hand. Fundamentals of Battle. Mystic Spear Hands wield both magic and the duo spear, enabling them to fight at range and in close quarters with equal ease. Their ability to halt the enemy's movement with a charge burst of magic makes a swift offense their best defense, for they have few means of evading attacks at their disposal. 
Mm, oh, I'm so used to dodging. Only the Risen can acquire this vocation. This is a considered one of the hybrid vocations. Redoubted Bolt. Holding down R1 to charge up your magic before unleashing a Redoubted Bolt will halt the enemy in their tracks, giving you an opportunity to bombard them with attacks till they recover. The longer the charge time, the longer the enemy will be restrained. Magic can be charged up while moving and attacking, but stamina only recovers while stationary. When you land an attack using Triangle, it will change to a powerful successive strike if the target is downed or knocked off balance, or the target is not expecting the attack. Powerful successive strikes should be carefully timed as they leave you vulnerable. Okay, Initiate's Blade. It's actually not terrible. 328 strength right away. Did I just... Did I just remove that? What did I... Oh, equip it. Okay. Okay, I'll take the Gazer's Hood. I can't? Oh, no, I can't because it's... Oh, that's a thief only. Oh, no. Same with the Scale Jacket. Oh, we're going to have to get some new gear, and we do not have a lot of money to do so. Okay, at least that is still the same, and, you know, I could still use a Saurian Scale Cape. Okay, Ring of Aggression boosts strength, Ring of Triumph. Do we have any others that maybe might be better? Definitely not using the Ring of Disfavor. Okay. We have no augments that we can use, but we can still use the other augments. This is one really cool feature of Dragon's Dogma. As you unlock augments from one vocation, they can be used on any other vocation. So even though I don't have any unlocked for Mystic Spearhand, I can use Subtlety. Gratification, Poise, Vigor, and Verve. All right, Scattering Bolt disperses for baiting Bolt after it has been unleashed. Ensnaring hostile targets in the vicinity and preventing them from movement, targets struck directly are restrained for longer. Okay, and then Weapon Skills. Right now we just have Dragon Stab. And then we have Seching, Seiching Blade. Conjures magical blades that fly at the target of their own accord. Though not especially powerful, it can be activated while moving or using another attack. Okay. Let's buy that. Let's put that up there. Perfect. Silverius, nothing new for you, friend. Oh, I guess it's only up to rank 9, not rank 10. As I uh, incorrectly assumed. Always a pleasure. Oh, this is exciting. I'm certain you'll master that vocation as no other could. Oh, I sure hope so. The problem is, I don't know what we're doing, and we have some our base gear. You'll be glad you did. Do you now sell duo blades by chance? Now that I've unlocked it, you do have the percipients. Whoa, that's a massive jump for 9,900. I could go get some gems. I could go get some gems. And I think I probably ought to, because that's a huge oh, difference. What? What do I hear and why? Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tail by I'm not gathering. <gasps> what? Okay. Well, I guess we're going to get some uh, practice. Okay. Watch it, watch it. Yep. Get up, get up. I'm fine, but I need to get up. Someone needs it. I'm gonna get stomped. Oh, I'm still trying to dodge. That's what I'm trying to do. Redoubted Bolt is... I wonder if this will work. Let's try to charge up a Redoubted Bolt. I don't think that's working. Watch it. All right, let's uh see if we can't get up. Oh. Okay, let's help out. Let's knock him down. There he is. He's down. Go. Okay, how about Seishin Blade? I 
Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to learn this one for sure. I cannot believe that monsters can actually... Oh, keep attacking his legs. Can actually come into the town. Can I go for his head? Why am I automatically going for his shoulders? I don't know. Well, there we go. Our first kill has a mystic spear hand. Oh, we still have to look at the stats. Well, now that it... Well, okay. I just helped you with this. That is silly. Right, okay. So, we need to take a look at our stats. Absolutely, they changed. Without a doubt. So, my strength was 168. Base, it's now 208. Now, the total is, is going to be changed because I don't have the same equipment. I don't have the upgrades that I had. Uh, my base defense was 142. It's now 127, so it's actually gone down. My magic, though, was 110. It's gone up to 160. went up by 50 points. And then my magic defense was 110. It's now 116. That went up ever so slightly. So very, very cool indeed. Well, this is pretty exciting. Now, we're going to have to do a lot of of menial grinding in order to get this up though and that'll be something uh right what were we going to do though we were going to head to the inn we're going to get some precious gems out kind of let us endeavor to keep up though we are less fleet of foot do take care on the road and let's see first off let's deposit what we just got well let's get rid of that the partisha Napped leather boots. All oh, right, because that was just a downgrade. Okay, let's get rid of all these books. Wow, we are almost we're almost very light. Oh, I wish we could make it. Not quite, not quite, but we're still very, we're still in the very, the light category, not the very. So we're gonna go to valuables. We have 10 Jaspers, six Onyx, nine Tiger Eyes. Wow, why is Nation's Death now considered a valuable when it's actually something you can cast? You know where to find me. Let's see how much money we can get for all this. I don't necessarily want to spend them all, but at the same time, they're coming pretty quick. And if we can actually get more money per kill, Come take a look. or not per kill, but per we coin pouch. Okay, so that's 8,000. This is a little over 12 grand. And this worth another eight grand. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. 36,000. All right, let's, let's get geared up. So we are immediately going to buy the Percipient Blade. And I guess that's it. And then we'll see how much we can upgrade it. And what does my old one sell for? 740? I mean, there's really no reason to keep the base one, so we'll sell. Okay, so right away it goes up to 418 for 495 gold or gill. Chopper Horns, 439. Monster Fang and Silver Ore, up to 469. Another 30 points of strength. That is pretty great. Defense, I really ought to, and it's just funny. I just can't really bring myself to it. Then again, I am using some starter gear. Let's head over to the actual armory. All right, Bjorn, what do you got for me? Okay. So, Serpentine Circlet works i'm i'm gonna look for blue over on defense guardian plate that's heavy though i really don't want heavy wow i'm not seeing a lot of blues over there okay never mind i guess we will just enhance these a bit don't have enough choppers horns boy i need to go get some choppers Astrocyte. Really? I don't have another Astrocyte? Okay. Ooh, let's bump his Maylorian plate up, though. 
Ooh, need some gold, huh? And fullagen ore and southern iron don't have any of that. Before you check the price, hope to see you again. Well, that's pretty cool. I know not why, but the words basement sick room set my hair on end. Shall we investigate? You're still insistent on checking the basement sick room, but we've been down there. Really, right now we're just waiting on Dr. Radcliffe. Okay. So, do we have any base level quests that actually require hunting? Not necessarily. We just have this beggar's tale. I was told in the comments that I've seen so many clues that should tell me exactly what to do, and I'm just still at a loss, so... I'm just going to pretend like you're wrong and I'm right because I don't have the foggiest clue what I'm supposed to do other than follow him, which I have tried. I have tried. Okay, where's the ox cart? Ox cart's going to be, all right, northwest. So I think we'll just make our way back. Going to make our way back to the rest village, yeah? So let's go ahead and wait. I wonder if we can now change where we go, though. Ooh, should I sleep? I should probably sleep somewhere, right? Ah, darn it. You know what? We have a house here. Let's utilize it. Otherwise, we rested in and it costs money. Let's be frugal. Yeah? We just spent a lot of money. Maybe not the most efficient way. Oh, plus, maybe we'll have some gifts here. We do. From Shakir, I determined this to be the place I would be most likely to find you. Yet for all that, it appears my timing was awry. I suppose I was so eager to deliver my package that I set out rather hastily. Never mind. I shall leave you here and pray that you will find it serviceable. Another Wakestone shard. <laughs> you shan't hear me complain about an early repose. Oh, Silverius. All right. Now, have you been good? Were you traveling around? Sure was. You didn't defeat a Cyclops? We're up to 24 out of 30, though. Got a Salubrious Draft and a Warming Salve. Thank you to Goddess Beast and Talia. Oh, and Dan, who decided I did, wasn't worthy of a gift. Okay, fine. Fine, that's fine. Monster, you are an oak. I feel refreshed and ready for a new day. Off we go, then. Off we go, then. We are. I'm ready to, you know, become Darth Maul up in here. Is it too... I mean, it's first thing in the morning. Can I Can I still maybe get a ride? In every age, when the Not you, apparently. Dragon and save the land. What did he say his name was again? Ah, Humphrey. The lad's in Vermouth now. He's eager. I'll give him that. Expedition, sword drills, say the word and he'll join in at a moment's notice. Say, you look experienced. You should talk to the lad. I'm sure he'll be glad of a bit of guidance. I, okay. I'll be on the lookout, I guess, for Humphrey. All right, who's who's running this show? You? You got a silly hat. This ox cart's bound for Melv. <sighs> I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Okay, so is that because of the location of this ox cart? And if I head over the northwest area, it will change? I'm hoping. Can I make it from here? No. Oh, have I even seen this statue? Is this the only one in the game without a note? Oh, is that a secret token? Jeez. Now here's a surprise. At least all our efforts weren't for normal. Well, we can almost unlock those uh, daggers that we'll now never use, or at least not anytime soon. 
By the way, since I mentioned that I was given an idea on how to find this vocation, if I'm missing something, drastically missing something, and you are just pulling your hair out and you'd like to help out, I'm not against it, but please, oh please, do not spoil. There we go. 200 coins, let's hop in. In other words, if you are eager to help, I don't mind a little bit of hinting, but please don't say, Blue, here's what you got to do in six easy steps. Simply say, hey, Blue, if you're looking to complete this... Oh, Ogre, get up, get up, get up. Thank you for the cold. I don't know what you're doing here. This thing's just insisted on not doing much. Look at his jump, that is hilarious. Knock him down, knock him down. He's going down. Oh, he's gonna go off the cliff. Uh oh, watch it. He's going down. I was gonna say, did he live? Well done, everyone. Oh, look at that health gain. Very nice. Excuse me, I paid for this ox cart. What was that? That's a griffin. That's a... What if I doze off? <laughs> what if I doze off? Do I just peacefully go on by? Wait, really? I do? <laughs> I'm not sure that's as intended. But that was hilarious. All right, let's head back to Radcliffe, see if he has anything. We might just change into our courtly gear, too. And see if maybe we could talk to Mirandon? Myrmidon? Marmalade? Whatever his name is. Oh, I'm so excited to learn this. Certainly going to be uh, a change. Ah, there you are. You've come at a good time. I've just finished running those tests. He, he means the bread tests. I must ask, where did you acquire that concoction? It is a fell thing you got there. To be plain, it is more poison than physic. It has the potential to heal one's ailment, certainly. But only if they could survive long enough, which isn't likely. Worse still, it has addictive properties that are likely to cause the patient to become dependent on its deadly effects. Which is why that one woman in the sick room is just begging for the medicine. I say patient, but I should hope whoever made this did not intend it as a method of treatment. You'd have to be well and truly mad to attempt such a thing. Oh boy. I think we might have enough to apprehend Alina. Worse still... Okay, nothing new that you can say. So is that still... Yeah, still says that I just need to apprehend when it's time. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's do a little questing around... The bandits in Vernworth Jail know of the methods... Oh! Alright, Dan, that's a good idea. Follow you? You want... It is no great shock to me. W where are we going? Here, eh? You want to run back to Vernworth to talk to... No, 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 Dan. <laughs> While I appreciate your enthusiasm, slow down. We are not running to Vernworth right now. What I am going to do... The sovereign's retinue is I am going to withdraw... I'm going to put on my one of my courtly tunics. 
lost. It was a remarkable recovery. Many Why am I saving the rest of them? Because they sell for garbage, and who knows? Maybe the four of us want to go to a masquerade sometime. Little has changed since last we met, sir. This group is just here. It's really interesting. Very well. Uh, no, Murndon is up higher. We must respect pay no attention, pay no attention. Okay. Wait. I'm confused. Did I not... Did I give it to Dan? Why did I give it to... I don't know. Anyway. There we go. Am I fancy enough? Nah. Ignore everything else. Look at... My interest is peaked. Yes. Very well. You may enter. Thank you, Mirrodin. And ransack. Oh, what is this? Ring of percipients. He's going to regret letting me into his home. Boost magic. Ooh, that might be good for me. Set of Ring of Triumph. Let's do it. Let's do Equip Left Hand now, boosting my strength and my magic. Very nice. Now then, what business have you with me? Honestly, I don't have the slightest clue. Could it be you have come to learn of my magic? Hmm? I wonder how you shall fare. Many are those who have knocked at my door only to walk away broken and defeated. Perhaps you would allow me to test your resolve? Oh, this must be the Sorcerer Maester. Bring me the grimoires I yet lack. I will not demand that you gather them all. A few shall suffice to prove your determination. Okay, what grimoires? Because I, I have some. Let there be light, full minute shield, na nation's death. Na I have that one. Howling blizzard, towering earth. That's all I have. Okay. So I don't really need to track this. Because my guess is... Yeah, there, we'll just find them as we go. So we'll actually take that off. In fact, let's not even track one for now. Okay, so Mirrodon is the... Again, I'm assuming Sorcerer's Maester. So if you want to learn the ultimate ability, you need to make your way to the checkpoint town. Ooh. What do we have here? A study in encanting. The act of encanting, of uttering a spell, is not merely symbolic. It forms wavelengths that catalyze magic, allowing it to manifest and thereby influence the physical world. Considering this, if several sorcerers were to encant the same spell simultaneously, what would be the result? I predict that the imbrication of the waves would amplify and enhance the magic cast according to the number of voices join. It certainly bears investigating. What if that was the case? What if, for example, being an Arisen with... Was that one of them? No, that would have been really funny. But what if you, as an Arisen, plus three pawns were all sorcerers and you cast the same spell? Would that actually amplify it? That'd be pretty cool. Thunder's Concord. Preface of the Mystery of Moonglint Tower. I already want to go to Moonglint Tower. It was a foolish and troubling decision of the state to veil the to veil the existence of Moonglint Tower. Let me read that again with a little bit more confidence. It was a foolish and troubling decision of the state to veil the existence of Moonglint Tower from the eyes of the people, for its base slumbers proof of a civilization that flourished here before our own. The secrets of our origins await within yon ruins. We have but to plumb their sacred depth to learn of our unwritten history. I have vowed to do just that, and I shall not surface from the abyss till I have uncovered the truth. Ooh, where is that? Oh, and we also have Governing Soul and another one that I can't... Oh, let there be light. That's one of them. 
hold on. You wanted the tomes you don't own. And, um... <laughs> you decided to just keep one upstairs. All right. Fair enough. Now, wait a second. Why, why do you have a marker? Have you found any grimoire? I guess just because I can give one to you? Well, well. You actually did as I bid you. I mean, I gave you one. I could give you another one, but... I kind of don't want to right now. Mostly because I don't... I just don't feel like going down to get it. Boy, how did you get down there? Alright, so what's the plan now? He asked out loud. Hmm. I don't want to go to Batal yet. I don't want to cross the border. But everything else seems to not really revolve around this place. What if I talk to some of the people that helped me with Raj? Let you in his manor. I expect you have a decent grasp of courtly manners then. Wouldn't have thought so. But I suppose looks can be deceiving, eh? Okay. A little backhanded compliment there. You looked in on Sir Meriden. I'm glad to know it. He's a lonesome fellow. Methinks he could use a friend. You'll never believe this, but the other day... Oh, we talked about this, Zelen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need any more about that. What? You've been to see Sir Meriden? Well, I'm there. All right. Make for relatively safer travel. It was actually extremely safe, believe it or not. What about these houses down here? Kind of, whoops, out of the way. Hiding anything? Anyone who wants to invite us in for a chat? Maybe a, an ear of corn? Never mind. Okay. Nice little hidden treasure. Why not? Ripen grapes times eight. Oh. Careful now. We'll tell you what. We don't have a whole lot longer in this part. Why don't we just explore a little bit? Yeah? Let's do it. Let's follow this creek and see where we can get. This is something that actually brings back a lot of fond memories from my childhood. And something I still do this day. But if I find a creek, you can bet I'm getting my feet wet. I'm getting in there and I'm going to see where it leads. Okay, now this sort of totem with the fish tells me, so, oh, and the eggs, that we've got saurians. But maybe we could find some asps, even though I don't really need them anymore. For my current gear. Oh, we got a rock one. Oh, we got rocks. Okay, back up. Freshly rested as we are. This battle ought to be enough. Do we some magic? Oh, stuff's going on here. Okay, I might need... Wait, Batal? I wonder if this is a secret way to get into Batal without a permit. Hey, we got our first rank up. Fantastic. That is pretty exciting. Look at all these human bones. But I do... I need to learn more, again, about my class. So if I go into history... Go to the tutorial. How do I... Vocation skills. There we go. Miss, Mystic Spear Hand. I wanted to learn about... Okay, not readout. Not the follow-up. I guess I actually need to go into my status to look at vocation. And look at... Alright. Sashing Blade. Conjures magical blades to fly at the tar... Oh, oh, oh! This is like homing, homing soul mass. In Dark Souls. Okay. 
So basically I can conjure them and then they'll just fly whenever they're ready. Okay. Oh, that's a cool move. Oh, careful now. All right, let's uh go ahead and conjure some of those. Wow, that is a massive, massive increase when they are staggered, huh? Beautiful kill. Okay, conjure a couple of homing blades. Oh, I have a feeling I'm really going to like this. Silverius! Maxed out as a warrior. You love to see it. You know, I was not ready to go into Batal. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? You mean right here? Interesting getting Sunbloom in a very, very shady location. Oh, there's no chest here? Well then where Where pray tell is it? Okay. More rock stories down there. One of my former masters chose to hire only women. I wonder why. Now there's a thought. Now there's a thought. Oh, look at this. <gasps> oh, look at that. Look at these mushrooms. These look like dryad saddles. My memory serves me correctly. It doesn't always. Daedaliopsis confragosa. Now that might be the thick walled or thin walled maze polypore. Oh, Nelly. Oh, that. Oh, that damage. Oh, that damage hurts. Whoa, don't get hit again. Watch it. Yeah, these guys are not a great example of my skills because <laughs> they're so tough. And I mean physically, just everything recoils off of them. But the XP is nice. So where might there be a chest that he just spotted? Oh, I hope you weren't expecting this. Can't get out of the way. Who's down? Silverius, you and I, buddy, we got this. Now, who's down? Dan? Dan? Oh, Dan. What? Uh... Oh, no. Okay. Guess we're going down low. I'm going to do this the smart way. I'm going to run away from him. Oh, shoot. Do I have one behind me? Oh, crud. Yep, this is... This is not great. Oh, that recoil is rough. Okay, and then... Use your triangle attack. Good kill. Okay, knock him down. Okay, Dan, we still got time for you. We'll make it. Ooh, Copperstone. You don't have to pick him up. You don't have to pick pick him up. Bring him out here. Put him in the water. Thank you, Arisen. Oh, thank you. For uh, being so patient. More copper stone. Okay. That's new. Not just copper. Pray, allow me to open your chest. Oh, 1800 gold. Now, if we keep following this out to the water. Okay. Not much here. 
fact, nothing here. Okay. Well. Was well worth the effort of breaking it. <laughs> was well worth the effort of breaking it. Did any? Did I find anything? Oh, they have figs. I do love how we're actually getting different regional items, and, and not just you know more advanced items or and whatnot, but actually like different regional foods like figs. I think that's pretty cool. Alright, well, I think on that note, yeah, we're actually going to call it apart there. We are now officially a Mystic Spear Hand. I'm going to make my way back to the Checkpoint Rest Town, and we will next time probably do some more exploration, not necessarily in Batal, but we'll do some exploration around the Checkpoint Rest Town, possibly head back to Vernworth since we do have some more quests to accomplish there. Uh, but really, I just want to level up a little bit and get my discipline points and my vocation ranks going so we can unlock the full potential of Mystic Spearhand. But that is all coming very, very soon. For now, that's going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Dragon's Dogma 2. Hope you're still enjoying half as much as I am playing. And we will see you next time.